Fellas, people, and fellowettes, all on the interwebs, how you doing? I'm DJ Ignite, it's another tutorial. It's been a while, I know, but uh, I'm here, and let's, let's, let's get learning, I think. Yeah, let's start learning. So uh, if you've been watching any of my previous tutorials, you'll know that uh, I've already had a look at Harmer when it first came out. Uh, but I didn't actually make any wobbles with it. I just showed you the preset and how it sounded, which it sounds like this. Um, yeah, not a bad sounding plugin. And although it looks a bit daunting, uh, we, I'm going to go through this step by step so you can follow along and hopefully make your own unique sounding wobble. But um, I'm going to warn you now. <laughs> uh, I haven't. I don't actually know very much about this plugin, so I can't explain to you how it works. But based, I can go through what I've done myself to create a wobble, and yeah, you can just follow along and decide if you like it yourself and if you want to do the same thing and blah blah blah, whatever. Now to start, we're going to obviously open up Harmer. Now because this has already got a uh, I've already set a fucking a preset. Duh. Since I've already set a preset on it, I'm just gonna open up a new one over the top. Now, by default, that's our middle C. I'm gonna turn this down a bit so you can still hear me. Middle C, and all we're playing. It's a very simple sawtooth, as you can see here in the first timber. Now, unlike Citrus, this doesn't have uh, six operators, which we then just, you know, tweak the sounds for. Instead, it's got two lots of two uh, things called timbers. Now, these are, I can't exactly explain to you how they work, but it's something to do with the subtraction and multiplication and addition and blah, 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 because this is a an addition, an additive and a subtractive synthesizer, if that means anything to you. Now to start this, we're going to click on the first timber window and instantly we're going to see this little graph with the straight line. Now this is the sound that we're generating right now. And if you look at it like a, a parametric equaliser, you've got your base and then your treble all the way up to the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to shape our sound. So there's a bit of bass and then there's I don't know, it's hard to explain, but you will get you will pick it up as you play around with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a note, middle C probably, and I'm gonna slowly shape this. Sweet. And you've probably noticed that as I was shaping it, this little sound wave thing was being altered at the same time. Now, <laughs> that's one timber made. The second one over here, for some reason, is, uh, I don't know, some weird little wobbly majiggers. And depending on the mix here, it will depend on how much of each timber will be played at the same time when you press a note. So if I press middle C, I can choose to either hear only this timber here, or only this timber here, or a mixture of the both. So I'm just going to quickly shape this as well, and I'm not even going to listen to it while I do I'm just going to fuck around with it, because I know it'll sound good. It usually does. Hopefully. <laughs> now after that, I'm going to reset the mix, and then... Keeping in mind that we're in part A, we're now going to go over to part B, and then we've got another two timbers with a mix. And also, in part A and part B, you'll notice there's an on-off, so an on for A, an on for B, 
and then also a slider between the two, very similar to this mixer. So essentially we've got four to play with. So two times two. And yeah, then whatever fucking things that you go for. So, <laughs> now we're going to create our, shape our sound in the B section. Well, that's fun. Now, at the moment, it doesn't sound anything like a, uh, a wobble. <laughs> it's not even that bassy. Alas, the good part is yet to come, for we are now about to make this sound wobble. Oh my god. So, how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to start in part A, because we're about to do some really repetitive stuff. And the best way to start, if you're going to do a whole bunch of the same things over and over, is you're going to want to start from the most earliest point in this part A, filter 1, and then we'll go across and, yeah. So what we want to do is we want to have a low frequency oscillator. So in order to do that, we need a filter, and we need to set it to low frequency oscillator. And just like Citrus, we need to turn it on. We want tempo-based time, and we're going to want to drag this up a little bit. Now I'll see that... There's lighter graphs, light, light grey lines and dark grey lines. We're going to want to do this on the second light grey line. And then we're going to speed it up so that there are two wobbles in this main four bars. So one, two, three, four, that's where it ends. We want two. So then when it crosses back over for the next bar, it'll start in the same spot. Oh, amazing. So we're going to want to do this in A and in B. Luckily, LFO is already selected for us. We just turn it on, tempo on, drag it up to the second line, speed it up, done. And then we want to go back to part A and go to the second filter and do the same thing again. Now the reason why we do this is uh, because there seems to be two lots of everythings in this plugin. And in order to have an accurate wobble, we want to make sure that it, every part of the wobble is wobbling at the same time. Otherwise, we're just going to get chaos. Yeah. So, now that that's all done, A and B are done, as well as fil filter 1 and 2 on both A and B. Ugh, fucking mouthful. Now, let's see what we've got. We're starting to get a little bit of a wobble. But we're not quite done yet. We need to turn down these frequencies on both A and B. And then a nice clean wobble. Now what I've just showed you how to do right here is how to make a very basic fundamental wobble that you can use in a song. Now we haven't uh, mapped anything to these X, Y, or Z modulators, and we haven't actually used any effects. This is where we're going to start to get a little bit more of a custom sort of sound to our wobble. And this is where you're going to want to start to fiddle around for yourself and not exactly copy everything that I do. So from here on out, I'm just going to start playing around with it. I'm going to not talk, so you can just follow along and you'll get an idea as to how each section, hopefully you'll get an idea, as to how each section of Harmer actually works and the sort of sounds that it creates. <laughs> mm -hmm.
Alright, so what I basically just did was, turn that down, um, I put on a distorter, a distortion or an overdrive so it sounds more gritty and obviously there's different sorts of uh, distortions available for different sort of sounds so obviously you can play with them as well as how wet and dry it is and the amount of distortion there is. Um, I also turn on reverb and use some chorus to try and spread in the sound as well as increasing the warmth because I want that warm bassy sound to it and I don't want as much of a high end sort of annoying sound. And in the advanced section I've placed the reverb right at the very top of the order of effects that it runs through. Now this is handy because different effects the order of which your effects are placed will obviously change the sound that is created at the end. So in this case I wanted the reverb to be right at the very start and yeah it is now. Now in this next part I'm going to map these X and Y modulators so we can use this for more easier automation. And to do this we're going to start from, oh, I don't know why that mixes, there we go, we're going to start from A and start from the beginning again. And we want to be in filter 1, frequency, and then we're going to want to map this to our modulation Y, which is this, the up and down. Bang. And we're just going to drag it, that point, all the way to the top. So maximum value, minimum value. And of course we're going to go to B and we're going to do the same thing. And that's our wire modulation, which sounds like... Amazing. And then we're going to go to the global LFO amount. And we're going to map this to our X. And once again, we're going to have a ramping from maximum to minimum. And do that for both A and B. Now what this global LFO means is it's the higher the value, meaning uh, determines how much this actually wobbles. So it kind of determines this value. So no wobble, obviously. A little bit more and more and more and more and more. And that's maximum value. And that's what this does, the X. Now we could map something to the Z, but in this case, we don't really need to do that. We're just playing around with the X and Y. And what we've created Hmm, needs a little bit more. I reckon I'll turn these frequencies and envelopes down. There we go. So yeah, that's, that's a very basic wobble that I've just made. I didn't really screw around too much with this stuff up here or around here, but it's given you a basic idea as to how to do something in Harma. And of course, when I do my wobbles, I usually have multiple, multiple different copies of the same thing. So that this one can be at this speed, 
and then the next harmer can be at a different speed so say four twice the amount but remember when you're changing the speed you've got to change the speed on both A and B otherwise she not work and of course the third one can be whatever speed else that I want and seeing as I can't be staffed counting how many I'm just going to right click copy the value go over to B right click paste same thing and now I've got three identical harmers that play the same thing but at different speeds Yeah, there you go. So I hope you learnt something and uh, go out there and go and make me some dubstep. <laughs> Doesn't even have to be for me. But yeah, if you do make a song, uh, a dubstep song with Harmer, feel free to post it as a video response to this tutorial and I'll happily accept it. Um, yeah, if this video was helpful, feel free to like it. If you've got any questions or comments, obviously, you know, you can comment. It's not that hard. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to watch any more tutorials or listen to any of my latest songs. Oh, how professional sounding was I just then? Oh my god, didn't even have to make any takes. Or take any more takes. Or let's just stop talking before I fuck it up again. Anyways, cheers for watching guys, and I will see you next time. Farewell for now.